to the valley, to the streams far below, to the streams far below. Okay, guys, what do you want to hear next? Tell us a story. Yeah, a scary story. Uh, I don't know, guys. Come on. He probably doesn't even know any good stories. Thirty years ago, in these very woods, a beast so terrible, a man-eater. <laughs> What are you talking about? Swamp Buck. I remember like it was yesterday. My father bringing me out into the woods. He told me to sit by a tree and wait that the deer would come to me. I then heard the most blood-curdling sound I have ever heard in my life. The scream of the swamp buck. My father heard it as well. Slowly he crept through the woods, cautious of every sound, even his own heartbeat. With heightened senses, he waited for the unknown, not wanting to enter the dark and sinister conspiracies of his imagination. That's when the beast sprung from the woods. I killed that demon that day. I killed it dead. If you killed this so-called man-eater, why should we even be afraid? We were celebrating our first kill. My father was cooking up some back straps in his old cast iron. Little did we know, it wasn't going to be my last kill of that day. He got buck fever. Bull crap! I heard his old man's got a condo in Orlando. 
Oh, really? Then how can I play the guitar? With these! <laughs> Smell of smoke, the crisp morning air, the forest is still, gun in hand. Keep a watchful eye and open an ear. Heart at peace, one with the words. Thoughts of home, thoughts of you, thoughts of home. Thoughts, my dear. Keep a watchful eye and open ear. Heart and peace, one with the words. Thoughts of hope.